We are living in a special place in the universe. Planet Earth harbors the most complex phenomenon in the whole cosmos, that is life. As soon as we became conscious of our being and surrounding, we began looking for others. Now that we have become a global society, the quest is to find whether we are alone in this universe or we have some distant cousins living many light years away from us. At first, we looked the planets near us, but sadly as of now, we have found no evidence of life in our solar family, with very little possibilities on Mars, Europa, and Titan. Then we expanded our search to neighboring solar systems, and dived deep into the vast emptiness of space. What we search for in these expeditions, is what scientists call a habitable zone. Habitable zone is a region around the parent star, where the condition is suitable for an orbiting planet to harbor liquid water, an atmosphere, and a normal equilibrium temperature. So have we found anybody out there? No, not yet, but we have detected and recognized many Earth-like homes that show the possibility of life. Let's see the science behind exoplanets and five of such Earth-like exoplanets that can be habitable. My name is Kyle and you are watching The World of Science. Exoplanets must satisfy some conditions, such as they must be terrestrial planets like Earth, Venus, and Mars. They must have liquid water, atmospheric oxygen, a thick atmosphere to guard from the solar radiation. The planets larger than the size of Earth, but smaller than Neptune, are called super-Earth. We are going to focus on these habitable super-Earths. Kepler Space Mission data reveals, that there may be 40 billion Earth-sized planets present in the universe. Up to now, some 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered in the galaxy that lies in the habitable zone. But all those planets that look like a new home for us may sometimes be a false alarm. For example, Gliese planet family was once considered to be habitable, but was later found out to be non-habitable. Now the question arises before us, how can we know that a planet is habitable, or not? We can hardly observe the colorful outer surface of planets, even with big advanced telescopes. How can we predict the compositions of a planet, that are thousands of light years away? Let us talk some astronomy first. We know that universe is expanding, and thus light emitted from the star or reflected from the planet, always seems to be red shifted. This is known as Doppler effect. As the planet moves farther, only larger wavelength of light reaches us. Hubble proposed a mathematical relation, that velocity of the object is directly proportional to the distance of that object from us. Thus, firstly we can calculate amount of red shift of the star, and then we can find out the velocity with the help of mathematical relation. To calculate the mass of the star, we need to focus on certain portion of the object, and calculate the amount of light emitted from the particular area. This is the method used to calculate the luminosity of the object. Luminosity of a certain object, has direct relationship with the mass of the object, shown mathematically as, L equals to M raised to alpha, where L is luminosity, and M is the mass. Alpha denotes a constant value depending upon certain factors. In elementary physics, we learn about Stefan Boltzmann law, that defines a relationship between luminosity and temperature of the object. So, we have got the velocity, mass, and temperature of the planet. What about the composition? To find out the composition of the planet, we need spectroscopy. All the light coming from the distant object, is passed through a spectrometer, that produces emission and absorption spectrum. Every element in the universe, produces a particular pattern in these spectral lines, and thus different spectral patterns shows the presence of such element in the atmosphere of that planet. Now that we have briefly covered, the technique to find out the properties of a certain planet far away from us, let us visit those possible homes. Proxima Centauri, b. The most nearest one is Proxima Centauri b, 
which is just 4.2 light years from us. Proxima Centauri is part of trinary star system, known as Alpha Centauri system. Alpha Centauri A and B are two main binary yellow dwarf star system, orbiting each other along a common barycenter. Proxima Centauri on the other hand, is a third star in this companionship orbiting the both. Proxima Centauri B is the planet orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. Although its habitability is still not completely proven, but it is one of the most looked on planet among the astronomers. Proxima Centauri B has a rocky composition at its surface, just like the Earth, and its density is also very much same to that of Earth. There may be some icy composition along the poles, but the equilibrium temperature of the planet is around minus 39.15 degrees Celsius, which is little lower than that of Earth minus 18 degrees Celsius. Mind you, the equilibrium temperature of Earth mentioned here is different from the surface temperature, that is about 14 degrees Celsius due to the greenhouse effect in our lower atmosphere. The star system is 5 billion years old, and thus is among the same time when our solar system was formed. The most important point is that, Proxima Centauri b lies in the habitable zone, and scientists have speculated that it may contain liquid water on the surface, although a complete confirmation is still awaited. Kepler 442b Kepler system consists of many planets that come under the habitable zone, such as Kepler 62f, 186f, and 442b. They are the best candidates among the astronomers for the search of second Earth in the universe. 442b is a near-Earth-sized planet and is around 1,200 light-years from Earth. The composition of the outer surface is rocky. It orbits a K-type main-sequence star, known as Kepler-442. The mass of the planet is around 2 to 3 times the mass of Earth, and the radius is slightly larger than that of Earth. These type of planet can be called as super-Earths. The average temperature of the planet is around minus 40.15 degrees Celsius, similar to the Proxima b. The orbital period is 112 days, thus, the year of Kepler is much shorter than we perceive here. Tidal locking is a property, due to which the Sun and planet is tidally locked to each other, thus only half the planet always receives the light, while other half cannot. This is not a required feature, and happily 442b is a non-tidally locked planet. It is described as the most habitable non-tidally locked planet. Also there is speculation of oceans, and presence of thick atmosphere that might contain oxygen. TRAPPIST-1e TRAPPIST-1e is also a planet with the size similar to that of Earth. It orbits the star known as TRAPPIST-1. TRAPPIST-1 is low-temperature dwarf star, 40 light-years away from us, and exists in the Aquarius constellation. The mass of the planet is similar to Earth, radial dimension is slightly smaller. The surface composition is rocky, and thus it is a terrestrial planet. Iron may be the most abundant composition in the crust, so the density is higher than that of Earth. The average temperature of minus 27.05 degrees Celsius is still closer to Earth's equilibrium temperature. Sadly, it is a tidally locked planet, but one thing that excites the astronomers is that the planet is cool enough so that liquid water can exist on the surface. According to the Habitable Exoplanets catalog, TRAPPIST-1e is one of the most potentially habitable exoplanets discovered so far. Kepler-62f It is also a super-Earth, and lies in the habitable zone of the Kepler solar system, 990 light-years from us. The day count in a year is 267.3 days, which is roughly 100 days less than that of Earth. The mass of the planet is 3 times that of Earth, and radius is 1.5 times. It is also a promising candidate among the habitable planets. One problem is that the average temperature of the planet is minus 65 degrees Celsius, but again it has a rocky surface and a thick atmosphere that protects it from the solar radiations. There is also the presence of carbon dioxide, 
so the planet can further warm due to greenhouse effects and can harbor life when condition is suitable. There is also a possibility that the planet can have moon, thus tidal waves can be common occurrence on the planet. Kepler 186F 500 light years from the Earth lies Kepler 186F, which is almost similar to the Earth in terms of mass, volume, and radius. The rocky surface and low-density ocean adds up to its habitable properties. There is presence of atmosphere, but the average temperature is quite low at minus 85 degrees Celsius. The rotational motion is so slow that one day on the planet is equal to weeks or even months as per the Earth's measurement. The planet lies very close to the Sun, and such slow rotation certainly is a disadvantage according to Earth's standard. The axial tilt of a particular planet is responsible for uneven distribution of temperature, which causes the seasons to exist on the planet. Our Earth has axial tilt of 23 degrees, but 186F has very low axial tilt, thus there is no seasonal variation on the planet. So, which is your favorite planet among them? Maybe you would still choose our little Earth because favorable conditions are quite discreet on these newly discovered planets. Maybe, they have certain kinds of microbial life, or in future when conditions become suitable, some form of life might emerge. No one knows, current astronomy doesn't allow us to predict correctly. But one thing we must not forget, that our Earth was a hell hole billions of years ago, that now it is undoubtedly a heaven. So, who knows, what we are currently observing on such exoplanets might just be a star. Comment down below what you think of such exoplanets and extraterrestrial life. Do check out other videos on our channel. Make sure you subscribe the World of Science for more such interesting videos. Until next time, stay scientific.